My Kinsman, Major Millennial, is a short story set in colonial America. Its genre is romanticism with gothic overtones. The action takes place on a moonlit evening in Boston, circa 1730, when the city was part of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. At that time, anti-British sentiment was prevalent in the colony. The ill will began to take root in 1686, when Britain appointed the first governor of the colony, Sir Edmund Andres. Prior to that time, the colonists had ruled themselves with little British interference. After 1686, resentment of British rule manifested itself in hostility against anyone who represented or supported British rule. In Hawthorne's story, Major Molyneux is such a person. To laugh or not to laugh the sight of Major Molyneux as a victim of tarring and feathering shocks Robin. Molyneux is the man who had pledged to help Robin make his way in the world, a man the youth South had been held in high esteem. And it is not enough that the townspeople are subjecting him to a painful physical ordeal. With their ridicule and wild laughter, they are also subjecting him to the psychological trauma or utter humiliation. To show the people that he objects to their barbarous punishment of the major, Robin could display a stone face of disapproval. Instead, he laughs. Here is the narrator's account of the moment. The contagion was spreading among the multitude when all at once it seized upon Robin, and he sent forth a shout of laughter that echoed through the street. Every man shook his sides, every man emptied his lungs, but Robin's shout was the loudest there. This passage seems to indicate that Robin's laughter is spontaneous, uncontrolled, involuntary. However, a close reading of the story suggests that Robin consciously and deliberately decides to laugh. After all, the narrator has continually emphasized Robin's shrewdness. Robin himself has said, I have the name of being a shrewd youth. Therefore, being shrewd, Robin realizes that failure to laugh at Molyneux will brand him as a sympathizer of the major and render him vulnerable to the wrath of the townspeople. In their frenzied state, they could decide to tar and feather him too. So he laughs. His instinct for survival supersedes any loyalty to or pity for Molyneux. It also supersedes his desire for Molyneux's promised money and assistance. By laughing, Robin severs ties with the reviled major. By laughing, he becomes a patriot instead of a British sympathizer. He even shrewdly refers to the townspeople as friends near the end of the story when he's speaking with the gentleman next to him. Having thus saved himself from possible harm, Robin is ready to return home. Noting that the Major will scarce desire to see my face again. But the gentleman, being a shrewd fellow in his own right, correctly points out to Robin that his decision to laugh at the crucial moment was also a personal declaration of independence. It made him a man, a man who is capable of surviving on his own. As you are a shrewd youth, the gentleman says, you may rise in the world without the help of your kinsman, Major Millennium.